This is a video tutorial for setting up Launchpad on your computer and your Launchpad account to enable you to contribute to projects that are found on Launchpad such as Ubuntu or another project that you might be interested in that utilize Bazaar for their code contributions. And this walkthrough can actually be found in a text form on the QA Teams wiki and at the link that you can see or I'll provide a link down below the video. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need an account. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and follow the link to sign up for an account. Assuming you do have already have a Launchpad account, go ahead and log into the, your account. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you're logged in, you're going to want to go to your account overview page. And there's a handy link there for you. You're going to see something similar to this. Now, on your account overview page, you're probably going to have an SSH key and it's going to show a blank here. As you can see, I actually already have a key. But if you go ahead and click this yellow exclamation point, after I verify my login information, you'll get a lovely change your SSH key screen. Now in my case, I actually have a key already in here. So I've got the key shown and uh, the ability to remove a key. If you don't yet have a key, you're just going to see this import public key form at the bottom. And so we're going to go ahead and generate a key now so that you can add an SSH key. Uh, if you're like me, you probably already have the open SSH client installed, but it's a simple apt get away. Once it's installed, you'll want to use the SSH keygen utility to generate your key. And you're going to get a few prompts. It's going to ask you where to save the key and if you want a passphrase and some other things. Um, I'm actually going to cancel this because I already have a key and I want to make another one. Once you have your key, you can go ahead and output the contents of the public key file by just issuing a simple cat command. And now I have the contents of my public key already here, ready to be copied and then pasted into this form right here. And I can click the import public key button and it will go ahead and import it. Since I already have this key imported, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And once you've finished that and imported it, if you go back to your overview page, you should see it listed as I have mine listed right here as an SSH key. Now the second step is to set up Bazaar. So again, Bazaar is just an app getaway. And then you're going to want to issue a couple commands. To tell Bazaar who you are on Launchpad, you can use this handy Launchpad login command. And then use your Launchpad ID. Your Launchpad ID is basically everything after the tilde. After you've logged in, you can see I'm just nskags. It's in parentheses up here as well. And actually, it's just typed out down there under Launchpad ID. So, Launchpad ID. Okay, good. And to confirm that Bazaar actually now knows who you are, you can hit Beezer Who Am I? And you can see that it returns that it's Nicholas Skeggs. And with that, you're all set up now for contributing code. If you'll notice under your Launchpad overview page, you have this lovely code section and you can see all of the these are branches uh, owned by me um, if you're interested in pushing up code that may not be uh, a part of a project and likely since you've just now enabled code contribution that would be the case so you can push just anything you wish by using these are push as it shows there LP your launchpad ID slash plus junk. And then you can name your branch anything you wish. La la la. And that will push the contents of the your local uh, Bazaar repository up to Launchpad. You get a handy, it'll appear here on your code page. You'll be able to see it, browse it, and share it with others.